morning everyone it's uh, 905 on Thursday this is your pre-opening comment video number 238 the initial claims and continuing claims for unemployment were higher again uh, the expectation was about 2.7 million and it came in at just under 3 million doesn't seem like a lot but it is a 10% worse than expected at 2.98. Uh, import prices were down 2.6% and export prices were down 3.3% versus an expected 2.1%. Um, the chart here on the screen is the oil and I'm trying to make the same point about this that I have for the last couple of days. It seems to be going nowhere. Um, it's had a series over the last four or five days of slightly higher highs and slightly higher lows. Uh, that may look constructive to some, but to me it says it can't get out of its own way. And uh, this is the way that bear flags are formed with these higher highs and higher lows, but the inability really to move anywhere. Um, on the positive side for it, the five day has not rolled over. And uh, further, uh, the 50 day, which is the blue line here in the middle, seems to be we're, we're working against it and going sideways in order to uh, you know stay above it uh, we would clearly need a close i guess the highest close here is uh, back on this day which was 2834 currently we're trading 2644 so i'm um, not really sure uh, whether that's going to make it or not. Uh, this is not one of those charts that I'm going to make a guess, even an educated guess. I'm going to wait for something to happen. Uh, so the news this morning, when the news came out on the uh, unemployment claims, the Dow was down about 200. Uh, fair value is not an issue today. It's, you know, a dollar or two in either direction. Uh, the Dow then traded down to minus about 310. And uh, right now we're down 280. The NASDAQ is down about 65. The S&P is down about 22. As I said, oil is up a little. Um, I want to look at the gold chart here also because uh, I've been very bullish on it. Um, I've been wrong for uh, the last couple of trades. And this morning it's up about 9 or $10.00. As you can see here, up 9.9. That was pretty close. Uh, we have not solidly broken. Well, we've, we've slightly broken the uptrend line. Uh, but the problem here is that we are just dead even on the 5 and 20. Uh, let me make this a little bigger so that you can see it. Uh, as you can see, we moved through it yesterday, but then closed below it like we have each of these times. Uh, this morning, we're a little higher. Um, I would look to be doing something if we could get any kind of a pullback. at certainly like 17 to 1715. We may get it, we may not. Uh, but for the last four times that it's done this, we've had a break back down from you know, over 1750 in six or seven days, all the way back down to 1675. Uh, this little one, which uh, peaked at uh, 1735 and a half and came down in, you know, basically two days all the way back below 1700. And now we're in the same spot. So uh, I'm going to take my time on this. Uh, I'd really like to be long gold. I believe that it's uh, going to have a major move to the upside. Uh, but I've gotten caught twice. And so 
I'm going to hold off. Um, the S&P had this sharp break yesterday. Today, um, it did try and rally overnight. It didn't get very far. In fact, if you look at the high, you'll see that it couldn't get back through what was support before. It was support here last week. It was support here three weeks ago, or two weeks ago, and for that entire week after the uh previous rally high up to this uh, 2885 area. Uh, Bitcoin is acting really well. Uh, it's up uh, another uh, 420 points this morning. The bonds are up about a dollar and the 10 year notes have fallen from a 0.7 which was the lowest uh, auction yield in history. Uh, it fell the same day and moved down to about 66 and a half. So bonds up, yield down, and uh, it is falling further. Uh, right now, it's, uh, I just saw it go by at 6.15. Uh, which is, you know, again, continuation on the downside. Uh, the market looks like, you know, it wants to keep trying to rally, but it tried that all afternoon yesterday, couldn't make it, and we saw the sell-off that occurred between 3 and 3.30 in the tiny little rally that uh, occurred uh, right before the close. Uh, we also had Cisco, who reported last night. Um, the stock was up about a dollar from where it has closed. It's this morning. It's down about fifty cents, which makes it fifty cents higher than uh, it was, but uh, still down on the day. Um, you know, the interest rate structure here is, uh, you know, a real concern. Um, banks are doing incredibly poorly. JP Morgan is down over two dollars this morning. Um, it's you know well under a hundred again. Um, you know it looks like it might be a buy, but you know until we see some sort of stabilization, I just can't do it. All right, everybody, be careful out there, and I'll be back during the day.